Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to beat the blood starved beast quickly and easily. Okay, to get started you're going to need 10 antidotes and you're going to need some fire paper. You should have picked some of these up during your travels. You're also going to need the black or white church set to give you some slow poison resistance. You also need at least 20 bullets and 20 blood vials for this fight. You can see my stats here. Uh, I've got quite a lot of poison resist. Um, specifically, slow poison resist is what you want. If you don't have the necessary armor, go to your insight merchant and have a look for some armor there that gives you some slow poison resist. Uh, Gas cones armor set uh, will give you some of that, but it's not as good as the church set. If you don't have any antidote, go to the Blood Echo Merchant and get some there. Um, regarding the fire paper, you might not be able to buy some at this point in time, so hopefully you have some. If you don't, that's still okay, you can still beat this boss down. When you're ready, back up your save. Please see the video in the description below on how to do this. Now we're going to head to the boss. Okay, so Bloodstuff Beast is a pretty hard boss, but because we're set up properly, it's going to be pretty easy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to beat this boss really, really quickly, uh, just by parrying. It may take a few tries to get used to the timing, but that's okay. If you end up dying, just load your save up again and try again. So in this video, I'm using a shortcut that I opened previously to go to the boss. On how to open this shortcut, please see the video in my description below. If all goes well, you should be able to down this boss in less than 3 minutes. Okay, so have your fire paper at the front and then have your antidote at the back. We're going to be fighting the boss at close range. When you see the boss raise his right arm, you're going to pause very slightly and then you're going to shoot. And then go in for that visceral attack. There are other attacks that you can parry too, so feel free to do those. If not, just dodge towards him when he does other attacks. If you shoot too early, you're going to miss the parry, like here I'm going to show you. Instead, so boss raises arm, pause slightly, shoot going for that visceral attack. If you need to heal, do it while the boss is down like that. Do enough damage and the boss will enter phase 2. When he's transforming, you can get some free attacks in. Again, I get an easy parry here. At about half HP, you want to switch on your fire paper. If you end up being damaged or poisoned, try and go behind the walls and use your antidotes and potions. As soon as the boss transforms again, you want to go in and just keep whacking the boss and try and kill him before he enters phase 3. I was a little slow, so I had to fight him for a bit while he was in phase 3, but I still got the job done. If you have any questions, please comment below, and if you found this video useful, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.